What is xanthelasma? If your body has high cholesterol or a lipid disorder, it will cause too much cholesterol in your body. This can at times seep through the dermis and appear on the externals of your skin. When they appear on the eyelids, this plaque of cholesterol is called xanthelasma. If it forms on other places of the body, or your xanthelasma gets out of hand, then it is classified as xanthomas. Deposits vary from soft, hard or calcareous, although variability is usually due to the chronicity of the plaque also the age of the plaque and other underlying medical conditions. Small studies suggest that xanthelasma can even be a symptom of a lipid disorder, even if cholesterol levels are normal. About half of patients with xanthelasma have elevated lipid levels, which are often associated with hereditary conditions, namely, it's part of your DNA. Blood tests to check LDL and HDL cholesterol levels have no evidence that they can be caused by lipid disorders. Half of all patients without xanthelasma had elevated fat levels, which are often associated with hereditary diseases such as arteriosclerotic heart disease or diabetes. Very rarely it can reach a size that causes heaviness in the eyelids and can therefore impair vision. However, it can be cosmetically problematic even when they are small and cause rashes, redness and irritation. Learning more about what is xanthelasma? The lesions are usually small and spread over the entire upper eyelid, but can also affect the lower eyelids, especially near the side of your nose, on your actual eyelid. Clinically, there are no main requirements for differential diagnosis, but XP xanthelasma palpebrarum can be easily diagnosed based on clinical background. If the case is unclear, surgical excisions and histopathology should be performed if the manifestations are severe. Results histopathological examination of the lesions should show dense aggregates of foaming histiocytes that widen the lamina propria. Although the exact pathogenic mechanism is not fully understood, the cutaneous xanthelasma may represent fiber proliferative connective tissue associated with lipid laden histiocytes, also known as foam cells. Primary hyperlipidemia is caused by an overproduction of enzymes involved in lipid metabolism, such as lipoproteins and liposomes. In cutaneous xanthomas, stomach infections were not found to be directly related to a disturbed lipid profile. The pathogenesis of this group of patients is attributed to an increased serum lipoprotein level, which leads to the development of hyperlipidemia in the bloodstream and the formation of fiberproliferative connective tissue. Defining what is xanthelasma? These lesions have been associated with hypothyroidism, cirrhosis and nephrotic syndrome. About 50% of patients with xanthelasma have abnormal cholesterol or triglyceride levels. Although lipid levels are normal, about 50% of those affected have high blood pressure, high cholesterol or high triglyceride levels in their blood. Xanthelasma does not normally disappear by itself, but the lesions tend to grow and multiply. Xanthoma is a skin lesion caused by the accumulation of blood in the blood vessels of the skin, such as the arteries and veins. Some types of xanthomas are more common in older people, where they can be associated with an increased risk of coronary heart disease and heart disease. To slow the expansion of your xanthelasma, natural products such as garlic and castor oil supplements can be utilized to slow to a crawl the expansion of the plaques. For removing them, the recommended techniques are either a product called xanthal, custom made to target your xanthelasma, factoring in age, client's age, medical history and skin tone to formulate a dermatological defined treatment to remove them and make sure they never return. The other option is surgery. A bit harsh and for most people a last point of resort and they only go forward with xanthelasma surgery if the plaques have got that out of hand that they have started to distort the eyes. To investigate further options, got xanthal.com or xanthelasmatreatment.com.